Hello everyone and thank you again for joining us for another one of our BFT Tech Update videos. Uh, today we will be going over the very popular Phobos BT A40 and the Talia Lite. Um, a little, we'll go over the motor just a tiny bit here. Uh, just a quick tip, um, if you have an old Phobos, right, and you're looking for a direct drop-in, uh, if you had anything in the name that was Phobos N, right? So just Phobos N, BT, whatever else comes after, but there's an N in the name, the direct drop-in for that would be the Phobos BT A25. If you have any Phobos that has an L in the name, so Phobos N L B T or just Phobos L B T, then your direct drop-in will be the Phobos BT A40. Uh, there is one off uh, that is just called Phobos BT, uh, no N or no L in the name, that would actually be the Kustos A25 direct drop-in. So that's just a quick uh, little tip for you guys if you're trying to find a new motor to replace. Uh, now let's just go over the wiring a little bit. So if you look on the tip, like most of our Motic boards or our limit boards, uh, you will see the connections. Uh, this does look a little thin, but of course this is a demo. We recommend for sure to not use anything thinner than 16 gauge cable. And of course, going by the color combinations, your number one, your white, goes here of course to number one, that's your limit switch cable, your red or your positive power goes to number two, and then of course your black or your negative power goes to number three on the control board. Also I just wanted to show you more or less the limit switches here. This is your open and close limits depending on if it's pushed to open or pull to open. And of course you have your magnets, one on either side of this little horseshoe that we have here. All right, so if you're bench testing, you gotta make sure you have this out so it could run back and forth and make sure it stops on the limit. Uh, if not, you know, I've had a lot of people call me as well and tell me that, you know, the gate's not, you know, something's not right and they never installed the horseshoe on the bracket, on the gate bracket. So very important that you have that installed or that you have it with you if you're just bench testing it. Uh, now we will go over our Talia Lite. So if you've ever seen, if you notice, it actually looks very similar to the Libra ULR. Well, this is the direct replacement for the Libra ULR. The, the Libra ULR is now uh, discontinued. So if you order one, you will probably end up getting one of these. And if you're ordering new kits, of course, this is what will come with it. So the Talia Lite. Um, of course, we'll go over the motor connections. Again, very simple, like all of our other Talia motors that get connected. Your red goes to 10, your black goes to 11, and of course, your limit switch cable goes to number 42. If you had two motors, the motors number two red would go to 14, black would go to 15, and then of course your white cable would go to number 43 for motor two. Uh, now we'll just go over a quick programming. And that is, uh, if you saw any of our other videos, it's actually very similar. And we try to keep it that way so you can kind of bounce between BFT products with no issues. So of course you push the OK button one time. It's going to ask you the language. Of course, we want to select English. We're here in the States. Motor type. There's actually two different types. So if you look, this one says Custos A and Phobos A. That's for the new style Phobos. And if you scroll down, there's another one. This would be for the old Phobos N models for Phobos NLBT. Uh, so for this purpose, we will choose the Custos slash Phobos. Push OK. It is going to ask us the number of motors. We only have one. You're going to push OK. The direction, this is INT or EXT, so internal or external. For demo purposes, we will keep it on INT. Then, of course, your presets. If you've seen any of our other videos, you will know AR is automatic residential. SR is semi-automatic residential. AC is automatic commercial. SR is semi-automatic commercial. And then, of course, IND. If you ever see this selected, this is dead man switch, so you got to remember to switch it to something else. If not, it will not work unless you're constantly pushing the button. Demo purposes, we will select AR, push OK. It will program, and then of course take you over to the auto set. Important to have the limit switch now, the, the magnet for the limit switches. You shall push OK. It will count down. Mm -hmm. 
three, two, one. Of course, the most I've seen this happen is like three, three to four full opening closes uh, for it to find out the proper torque, its slowdown distance, and of course, when to stop. Another tip while this is going on, of course, we got the okay, uh, meaning everything was okay. Before you start this process, you want to make sure your trolley is in between both limits so you can properly run the auto test, auto set. So that was just another quick tip there. We will push okay, and of course, it takes us directly to remote programming. Uh, to do it manually, please look at the link on the top corner, uh, and you will just, uh, to get to the hidden button, of course, squeeze both buttons at exactly the same time, and you'll notice it says release. Get the light on, release, let go, and then quickly tap the button you want to use and you got an OK one. Uh, now let's just make sure everything worked out OK. C. Uh, if you had two motors, right now it would say CC. Uh, that's meaning they're both closed. If they were both open, it would say OO. But since we have one motor right now, you just have the one C. You got to start and we are good to go. Thank you guys for joining us. Appreciate it.